What's going on everybody? I know it's been a minute since I've been on this channel, but I figured I'd come back on to this channel because I feel like this channel really did help a lot of people. You know, a lot of people have commented saying that I just have a calming spirit. That makes me feel good. And so I wanted to kind of just get this channel going once again. It won't be as consistent as I wanted to because I'm making music and that takes so much of my energy and time. I'm also going through so many things right now. Like I'm fighting 10 years. I have charges that add up to 10 years. I'm going through a lot. But I told myself though, I was like, why not start making videos again? Why not start helping people again? Like I've been helping people outside the camera, but I want to help you guys once again on the camera. So I just really just want to talk to you guys about not giving up. All my life I've been tried, I've been tested over and over and over and over again continuously and forget what my hair looks like. I'm, I just let the camera roll. I'm not doing all that. My hair is a mess. I got out the shower. It's cold. It's freezing where I'm at. It's October. But all my life, I've been tried over and over and over and over and over again. But I prevailed each time because God has delivered me. And my advice to you guys is to get a relationship with God. You know, really talk to God and realize that isolation brings elevation. Like, I learned that God will isolate people who he's trying to talk to, who he loves. The Lord disciplines the one he loves. So, don't give up. Keep going, no matter what you're going through in life. Just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep moving forward. Don't ever look back. Don't look back. That's why we miss out on our blessings so much. It's because... You know, we want our blessing, like, God, why won't you bless me? Why won't you bless me? Well, are you taking the steps that you need to receive your blessing? You got to ask yourself, too, what kind of energy you're also putting out. You know, are you putting out good energy or are you putting out bad energy? And I've done both. I'm not perfect. We're human. You're going to do both. You're not going to be perfect. But my advice to you is to always embrace your flaws, to always you know accept yourself for who you are in the present moment and when you accept yourself for who you are in the present moment you can make your future better see i didn't do that really growing up and that's why i i feel like i had more adversity probably than what i should have had because a lot of it was caused by myself you know i didn't accept myself i didn't follow my dreams I, it was always about other people's dreams other people's wishes trying to please other people you gotta love yourself, you gotta accept yourself, you gotta chase your dreams. Like with my music, I first started making it, a lot of people said a lot of negative things and this and that, but the same people that said those negative things, now that it's gotten better, they're all like, oh, you, you know, I like your songs, blah, 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 blah. But they were the same ones hating at first when they didn't sound as good. But that's because I keep going. I keep grinding. You gotta be consistent. You wanna be successful, then you gotta be consistent. You can't give up. And that's anything in life. Like I said, I'm facing 10 years right now, but every day I wake up, I say I'm blessed. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for another day, another chance, another opportunity to glorify you in some type of way. No matter how bad of a sinner you may be, no matter what you've been through in life, you just gotta thank God. Just be grateful. But the reason why a lot of you struggle is because you don't you don't believe in God, you don't believe in yourself, you don't believe in anything. And if you don't believe in anything, you'll fall for anything. So yeah. You know, I just make these videos random. I don't ever come out with any type of agenda per se. I'm not like, oh I'm gonna make a video about this or make a video about that. I used to do that. And that's cool. And I'll probably do it some more too. But I kinda like just letting the camera roll and just just talking. Because it just comes out. Like good things to start coming out. God just starts speaking through me. So if you're going through relationship struggles. If you're dealing with lust. If you're dealing with anger. If you're dealing with all these things. Just accept yourself who you are in the present moment. 
and then take the steps and the actions of what you need to do to get better. If you don't know what the steps or the actions are to get better, for an example, if you struggle with anger, you know, it's, go out to nature would be my advice, where it's calm, where it's quiet, such as myself, you know, out here. It's nice and relaxing. Go out to nature where it's quiet, where it's relaxing, where it's calm and just breathe, just inhale. Take anger management classes. Uh draw, color, do something, make music. Don't just uh lay in your bed, you know. Don't lay in your bed in hell and just lay in it. Get up out that. Get up out your depression. A lot of us are so held down by our depressions and our anxieties etc etc but we're only held down by them because we feed it our energy we're always talking about you know if you're anxious you know well, I'm anxious or I'm gonna have a panic attack so I can't do this one of the best ways to cure anxiety social anxiety especially is to be more social you know if you have social anxiety go be social and I know it's hard I've had social anxiety, all kinds of mental illness throughout my whole entire life. But to me, mental illness now just means people who are aware, people who are conscious of what's really going on in this universe. And a lot of people are not going to understand that. And look, I'm not perfect. I don't have all the answers. I don't claim to have all the answers. But I'm telling you that life can get better and it will get better. But you have to make it better. You know? You are the master of your ship. You're the one. You're the one who sets sail. So when the storm comes and the waves come to knock your ship down, and or if your your boat has a hole in it and you're, and you're beginning to sink, you gotta patch the hole. You gotta float again. You gotta ride again. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep heading towards your direction. You are your compass. You know, trust in God. God, God will lead you places but one thing I learned just from my experiences with my relationship with God is that you know God works in a lot of different ways a lot of mysterious ways and one of the ways God works in healing me is just through this looking at this camera talking to all of you helping the people I've helped with my music helping the people that I've helped with on, on this vlog you know I pour my heart out and I let it bleed in front of everybody to see I don't hide nothing there's nothing I don't hide. I show all my scars because my scars make me who I am. It's part of my journey. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to help others. It's a blessing to be alive. It's a blessing to come out here in the nature and the and just breathe. Every day is a blessing. So just be grateful, be thankful, remember who you are. And if you don't know who you are, then go on some soul seeking. You need to find out who you are. Because a lot of times people would tell me, you know, remember who you are, Hunter. Remember who you are, Hunter. But I didn't know who I was. I didn't know who I was because I was not seeking to find out who I was. I wasn't seeking to find out why I was here. This was at a certain point in time in my life. This was like when I was like 17 or something or like 16. You know, basically, I just sit in my room all day. So you gotta go out, and you gotta you gotta really dive deep within yourself. And when I say go out, I'm not talking about going out to the club per se. I'm talking about coming out into nature. I'm talking about meditating. I'm talking about prayer, getting in um commun communion, you know, union with God, getting to know God better, getting to know yourself better, getting to know your family better. Because a lot of people you think that love you, they probably don't love you, to be honest with you. A lot of, you might be in a relationship right now where you think you're happy, but you're not happy at all. And, you know, I've been in, in f four relationships my entire life. Yeah, four, well, I'll probably say three. I've been in three relationships my entire life. <laughs> I've been in three relationships my entire life. And I learned from each one of them. And that's really just what you have to take out of it. I'm not ever going to speak negative about the women that I had dated or any of that. Why would I do that? 
what would I accomplish from that? What would I gain from that? Just being negative all day, just crying about what they did. It's not going to solve anything. Now, in my music, when you hear my music and I, if I say stuff like I'm crying and learning stuff, because in my music, I embrace my emotional side. I embrace my dark side in my music. So people get confused a lot. They think I'm just crying all day long. I'm not crying all day long. I'm strong. I'm a strong man. I really am. I'm blessed. I'm grateful. I'm God's son. Nothing can take me down. Devil can't take me down. His demons can't take me down. I rebuke them. You gotta face your demons. No matter what, you know, kind of demons they are. You could have demons of alcohol, demons of lust, demons of anger. There's all types. There's all different types. You may struggle with being a mother. You may struggle with being a father. You may struggle with just being a, a good big brother or something like that. But don't give up. Remember who you are. Like I said, if you don't know who you are, go on some soul searching. So I just wanted to make this video. It's just a vlog, man. I hope you learn from it. <laughs> I hope you learn from it. I hope there's something that you can gain out of it. Because before when I would make these vlogs, I'm not going to lie to you, guys. I'm going to be real with you. Yeah, the whole goal was to help people. It always was the goal. And that goal hasn't changed. But I cared way too much still about what people thought about me. I had to set the camera up just right, you know. I had to talk a certain way just right. Even just having my hood up right now. Like, I didn't even like doing stuff like that when I made vlogs. Because I was trying to be somebody that I wasn't. Because I didn't know myself. You have to get to know yourself. If you watch my first vlog, it's about me talking about my, um, excuse me. It's about me talking about my derealization, depersonalization disorder that I had struggled with. But, you know, now I realize that depersonalization to me, again, it's just, I just was born woke. You know, I'm a woke child. I'm God's son. I'm very conscious to what goes on around me and what goes on in this world and in this universe. I don't know it all, but I'm beginning to know more and more each and every day. I find more clarity. I find more peace. And I'm beginning to know myself more. I'm a deep lover. I love heart. I have a big heart. And, you know, that is what it is. I'm a deep lover. I have a big heart. I'm a deep person. So I'm on that frequency. So, like, you want to meet other people that match your frequency and that match your vibration or else it's not ever going to work. But anyways, guys, stay positive. Stay blessed. Keep your head up. Do good and fight your demons don't be afraid your demons fear you even angels all they fear you you have authority you're god's children and get to know yourself you know i mean i'm not a religious person i believe religion is man-made but i believe that every man and every woman can learn from religion and from its, its books and you know all the scriptures the holy bible the quran whatever it may be you can always learn from it you can always take good things out of it. You can learn from every religion that there is. But I do believe religion is man-made. I believe we need to focus on humanity. We need to help each other. We need to help the earth. And above, our, above all else, we need to be thankful to God for giving us life. No matter how hard it is, it's still life. It's still a blessing. And you can always reverse the curse. So I love you guys all. I, you know, I plan on making more videos, and I'm excited about doing that. And please talk to me in the comment section. You know, follow me on Instagram, all that. I'll post my links where you can follow me and whatnot. And check out my music too if you want to, because I really pour my heart, and my soul out a lot into my music. And I also just have songs that are just hype songs. They're just songs just to. You know, have people, like if people just want to mosh or something, just to, just to release that type of energy. That's another thing I do. Like if I'm, if I feel an anger, you know, I go to the studio. Just be wise in life. Don't be dumb. Because <laughs> I've been dumb a lot in my life. Like don't make a bunch of the whole dumb decisions. Just be wise. Control yourself. I love you all. Stay blessed. Healing oceans. We're back.